See, I told you I'd be back for another video very soon. Hi everyone, and welcome back to Sammy Vostok. Today we're going to be doing a diamond interchange. It is going to be so interesting to see how it all fits throughout Sammy Vostok. Now, we're going to be working from this interchange right here. You can see there's a lot of traffic coming in from either sides, not really working. So let's do something a lot, lot bigger. We're going to be moving from this side to the other side of the river. But just quickly, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. So close to 100,000. Oh my God, I can't believe it. Yes, I just, oh, so close. But anyway, let's get back into the video. And also, if you would like to see more of these types of interchange videos, give this video a like. So, what we are going to be doing is moving the intersection from one side to the other. So, the other side right here where I have, where I've just cleared everything. So, the reason why I'm going to change it is because um, the cargo plane airport is there and it creates a lot of traffic. Now, I'm not going to construct a diamond interchange myself. I did go onto the workshop and I would highly recommend going on there and choosing a whole different bunch. So there's a lot of different ones on there. Just go onto the Steam Workshop, type it in. You can find so many so easily. Now I place some down and then I adjust them because not all of them are exactly right. So you can see right here, I'm going through a lot of them because I did get a lot and yeah, it's good to have a, a good variety because there's different sizes, heights, you know, stuff like that. So. Um, didn't like that one, so let's delete that one as well. I ended up going with this one, but then I was like, you know what, this one is just no good because, now I wouldn't recommend getting this one either, no offense to the person who made it, but it is too small, it's too crowded, and you know, diamond inter interchange, they're designed to have a lot of traffic in them, so if it's really crowded, no good. So I deleted that and went with this one, which is even bigger. So this one is a lot better, but there's only one thing I didn't like about it is that um, it's the fact that all of it is elevated. So what I'm going to do is lower the main highway down to below the ground level, and then all of this, this area that's elevated at this point, um, I'm actually going to lower all of that down to the ground level, if that makes sense. So I didn't want all of it to be elevated off the ground because that, that just looks a little bit funny, looks a little bit unrealistic. Um, so you can see I'm lower, lowering all of this back down to the ground and it just looks a lot better. So if you are going to do that, I would recommend that because it does it does just look better. So um, one thing you just have to make sure that the, the highway underneath still has enough room. So obviously, um, not that it's really an issue, but you need to make sure that the trucks still have enough room to go underneath. So uh, I do I, I do adjust that a lot throughout the video. Now, I would highly, highly, highly recommend updating all of them to highway road segments like I'm doing here. Start with the three lanes and then at the end of the video when we jump out of the speed build, I'm actually going to go through and show you guys how to set up a few other things and where to adjust the lanes and things like that. But start with three, uh, three lanes for the highway because it's going to be the most suitable. And like I said, if you have a really small crowded one, crowded one don't do it just get a bigger one get a really nice big long one <laughs> that sounds sexual but really it is it is better so you can see it's all lowered down now it looks better right and at the, at the moment it does kind of look a bit messy because I don't like how these slip lanes are really small um, and all of where, where the slip lanes come in where they cross over it just it just doesn't look right so I actually um, this is where I start to adjust everything. So I start removing the existing slip lanes through here um, And then I can I do something completely different and just rework the whole thing I just don't like how it is, but I do keep the main crisscross area Now a lot of you guys always ask <laughs> you guys are always asking about this Why don't I put them in? Well, the reason why I don't really put them in is just because they're so big They take up a lot of space, but there is one other issue that I don't really like about them. It's the fact that they have um, the entrance lane and exit lanes. And I'll go through that a little bit more when we go out of the the um, the speed build here. And I'll show you guys why I don't particularly like them. Well, I mean, I still do like them, but sometimes you just have to manage it correctly. Otherwise, it's going to be an, a big issue. And I wanted to throw in just a few seawalls along the main highway. It really makes it look so much better because it, it gets rid of the yucky terrain area. It makes it nice and flat and it just, oh, it looks better. It, 
It really does, you guys. It just looks better. And do you guys remember, like, way back at the start of the uh, of Semi Vostok, I did a lot of tunneling stuff with seawalls as well. Um, it looked really good with all of this stuff. So I'm going to start putting in the um, the connections back in. So you can either do one lane or two lanes. That's completely up to you. Um, I would probably recommend doing two lanes in certain areas, depending on whether you know how to. Uh, manage it properly and you can see I'm just dragging it dragging it out a little bit because I didn't like how short it was so if it's uh, really short and crowded it's not going to work properly because you need to allow for a really good flow straight through so when this is done it should be very very satisfying so that's why I made it longer and then you can see I put down the boulevard there uh, I'm, I'm, I'm actually going to delete that but I just put that there to use as a guide for the distance between the highway and where the slip lane will be because I want them to all be roughly the same spacing between the highway and the slip lane so I'll, I'll just be using those but then I, I do delete those like I said uh, and then so the this side of the highway the or well, the diamond interchange uh, it's not really important to show right now but it will go down to the tourist area so obviously the existing um, interchange here did go from the interchange to the airport so the airport will be on the other side the and then the tourist area will be on this side Luckily the tourist area doesn't really look back at this big this big mess right here It does look pretty like oh my god That's a lot of roads and stuff like that But I will try to blend it all in in with some trees and terrain and things like that So it doesn't look as obvious when when I zoom out it is oh my god It's it, it's a lot in comparison. I think this is probably the biggest interchange in Sami Vostok well in terms of space you know it's really really spread out and um, yeah that's another thing like I said they're really big I prefer to do something that's smaller and just slip lanes and just you know you can fit like instead of doing all of this you could do a smaller one and then fit in like a whole other town over here for example but this this area it's pretty empty so it doesn't really matter I mean I don't think I was ever going to build in this area anyway Okay, so I'm just putting in the last little slip lanes that I wanted to adjust just because I wanted to make it more specific to my road designs, the, 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 the design of the highway. And yeah, so why don't we jump out of the speed build and go into the live mode and we'll adjust some things, set up a few things and just make it all work better. And also you can just hear my opinion on these lovely big interchanges. All right, you guys, so we're now in the live mode. So I've put in all of our uh, slip lanes coming in and out, but you can see we have a bit of an issue right here. And also you can see there's a huge, huge amount of traffic that is having an issue because of this. Now, just quickly before we get into the whole management of this, I'll show you guys why I don't really like using them in general. I mean, I still like them, but just not too much. It's because we have an entrance here and then an exit over here and that's really really bad planning because obviously let's pretend you have all of these cars coming this way and then they're all going to want to go into this lane here because this lane goes along and then turns and then so keep that in mind and then we also have this traffic here that wants to cut in front of that um, so this traffic wants to come over here which will cut in front of these guys and then there's going to be a big mix up through here and it's just not very, very good. It's it's not, it's really, it's not very practical. So that's why I don't really use those very much. Now, um, it's common to have the traffic lights here. Now you can go one step further and actually adjust those, putting in, you know, time traffic lights, adjusting it properly, but I'm not going to do that in this video just because it is a little bit of a bother. But before we get into anything else now, Obviously, we have two different lanes splitting off here, so it might be obvious, but you can um, do the two lanes here. So let me just go like that. Um, and then also, you can do the same for over here. I'm not going to do the two lanes for all of the way. I'm just going to do it for about here and then here. And then the last part, they can go back into one lane, which takes them back onto the highway. Uh, I just don't want to overdo it and then for over here as well um, so it comes off the highway with one lane and then I'm going to split it into two and then that yeah it just makes it easier and then same for here so we have the two lanes coming off and I'm, I'm going to do the two lanes here then they merge back into one and that goes back onto there now 
Um, just quickly, I mean, this is kind of obvious, but I'm just doing it anyway. It's a nice reminder. Uh, I'm going to update this part here. So we have four lanes. Do I have a four lanes with a barrier? Do I have it? What's this one? Four lanes with a barrier? Yes, that's good. There we go. A little bit of overlap, but that's all right. But um, obviously we have the three lanes, th the three existing lanes, and then we have a fourth coming in. So, I mean, you need to make sure you have all the lanes. So make sure you guys do that as well. And then connect them up properly. You can add a fourth one over here if you really like, but I'm not going to do that. I am going to add a fourth one over here, however. Uh, actually, I might do one on either side here. So we might have to make the area a bit wider. So we have four coming along 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 and then they merge back into three over here and then we'll do four actually this one we might have to do five six lanes five lanes yeah we'll do five so it's still important even though this part isn't actually on the diamond interchange it's still important to get this set up correctly because if we look here we have the two lanes coming in now i'm just going to do this anyway even though it's kind of done it i don't want them to crisscross lanes here so you can see this red truck, I'm pretty sure it just came from this lane and cut through, I don't know, it, it cut somewhere, I didn't like that. So just gotta do this so they all meet up properly. And then I might also do it for this one here. Um, we'll do the same for over here as well. So yeah, and I, I know you guys, it's, it's, it's kind of obvious, but you still gotta do it for the game just to help get it all set up properly. Um, we'll do it down along here. And then from here, they can all do their merging wherever they need to go. So this one can go there. That one can go to that one and that one. And then this one can go to these two in through there. So yeah, these it's overlapping, but if you look, it actually doesn't overlap with the road. So that's all right. So we have that set up. The next thing you need to make sure is, oops, what's this? We don't need that. <laughs> next thing you need to make sure is you have the correct amount of lanes. So we're going to be using a lot of two lanes and three lanes. So I told you guys to update it all with three lanes, which is fine, but we are going to adjust some things. So we're coming along here. We have the three lanes coming from the, the tourist area comes along here. So the third lane goes off, which then takes us back to two lanes here. And then those two lanes will continue over to here. And then we have this lane coming in, which gives us three lanes. Now, since we have a lot of heavy traffic coming through here, I'm actually going to leave the third lane through here. Um, maybe we should update this one to a fourth and then they can merge back hang on we'll get this one here okay so it goes into four here then they merge back to three and then eventually they merge back to something smaller there we go good 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 so that just goes up there um that's pretty steep so i know you guys are gonna probably say something about that but let's not get too concerned about that now we'll do the same for the other side as well so we'll get our two lanes we'll just go through and double check so we have our third lane which goes off here which then takes us back to two lanes there two lanes over to here going across then the third lane comes back on so we go back to three lanes and then um the third lane goes off so we go back to two lanes and then over here we're back to two lanes and then we have this one oh that doesn't look good does it there we go and then we have this lane that comes back in which takes us back to three and then they merge back into two down here okay but we're not done just yet uh, I think the sun's going down. Hang on, you guys. Let me just stop that for a second. If I go like that. Good. Okay, now the sun won't go down. Great. So, we're not done just yet. So, what else we need to do is if we look here. So, these two lanes here, they should be going straight ahead. But we don't... But it's showing that it can turn right, which you don't want at all because it's going to be really really messy so this one here is fine so what we need to do is just basically connect these up like this now you need to do this for all of them as well so this one here it's doing the same thing so instead of making them turn left which you don't want uh, just make them go straight ahead into the correct lanes uh, and then also down here as well. So we have the third lane. See this third lane wanted to go left, which is a big no, no. Connect you up and then connect you guys up as well. So that's going to make it a little bit easier. Now, I am kind of considering upgrading one more thing and just showing you guys 
um, a different option for a diamond interchange. So normally a diamond interchange, it does have the traffic lights through here, but since there isn't any like crisscrossing that they don't need to change lanes or anything like that, you can actually change um, the lanes to go over each other instead of crossing each other. So I'm thinking since we have a lot of traffic that wants to come down along here, up the slip lane, and then goes under and then up to the airport which is up there. You can see there's a lot of traffic up there. So I'm thinking we might actually disconnect these two lanes here and make this lane go completely underneath and then this one will go over the top. So let's do that quickly. Okay, so it will end up looking something like this. So basically all it's doing now, it's allowing all of this heavy traffic to go straight through and bypass what was there before which was a traffic light. Um, now you can do this with either side as well, I just chose not to, I chose to only do it where it's actually needed. This side you can get away with having a traffic light, and that is pretty much everything you guys. So yeah, just to quickly recap, make sure you have enough lanes, you might have to do the, um, the lane connections, make sure there's no um, sneaky little left turns or right turns, depending if you're left hand or right hand traffic. Uh, and then make sure you have enough slip lanes and make it really stretched out. I would actually recommend having this part through here longer because obviously they need to crisscross lanes through here. So if they have more space to do that, it's going to be a lot easier and less likely, less likely to cause uh, future congestion. And yeah, so don't worry about this big issue up here. Uh, the budget needs to be lowered, I think. So that's probably all for this episode, if I zoom out and show you guys, oh my god, look at that, it looks so, <laughs> it's so huge, it's so dramatic. But if I just throw in some detailing, ah, oh, doesn't that look good, it looks satisfying as well, oh, it looks good. Anyway, do you guys use diamond interchange interchanges? Let me know, I don't really use them, um, yeah, like I said, they just take up a lot of space and there's other more efficient ways to do that. But I mean, this was still a fun little build. It's a nice, fun little addition as well. So anyway, th anyway, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you all next time.